Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my videos. My name is Meir and uh, today what I want to show you is how to do a setup for Samsung SmartThings with a tablet on the wall. Uh, this will be a two video session. The first video will be the hardware setup and the second video will be the software setup. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, a lot of people have reached out to me on the SmartThings community on a, and on a Facebook SmartThings group community. Uh, where they saw my end result tablet on the wall, they asked me questions, how did I set it up and how everything uh, uh, is set up uh, from a hardware and from a software perspective. So I decided to make this tutorial. Uh, the way that I'm gonna make this tutorial, I'm gonna use the pause button a lot to save you guys a lot of time, but I'm gonna put a, a, a descriptive description in the, the YouTube video. So without further ado, first of all, I'm gonna go over all the stuff that I purchased uh, to make this happen then I'm gonna go and show you the end result and then I'm gonna do show you the installation part so first of all uh, everything that you see right here is uh, what I'm using for this installation the overall cost perspective from everything including the tablet uh, is around fifty dollars US so first thing that uh, you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your recessed um, box and I'm gonna put on the description where the links to purchase everything so you get this and you need to buy yourself a, a cable this is a 12 gauge electrical certified cable from Home Depot or Lowe's uh, you're gonna need to have a 90 degree angle a USB cable short so this is half a fit and as you can see it's a 90 degree you wanna buy yourself a USB outlet to go inside the wall to go inside the recess box you want to have a start finder you want to have a saw for the dry sheet wire cutters leveler some assorted tools such as Phillips screwdriver and flathead and my trusty letterman tool and uh, some electrical tape and a frame custom made for my tablet. I made that, I purchased that from Hobby Lobby. They took measurements of the tablet. And of course, a tablet. This is an Insignia Flex 10 inch.1 from eBay, used. I bought it for around $29. You don't need more than that. Any tablet will make do. Just make sure that the frame that you buy is custom fitted for it. So, Oh, and of course, a drill to make uh, things easier. And now, where I'm going to show you the end product result. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to show you the end product result. And then we we'll continue with the installation. Hey, guys. So this is an end result of how it looks like. As you can see, this is a, a custom frame and a tablet that I put on my downstairs unit. And I'm putting, gonna, in this video, I'm going to put one upstairs to show you guys how to set everything up. So as you can see, it's plush to the wall. And this is a custom frame from Hobby Lobby and the tablet with action tiles in it. And here are all my IoT devices set up, including my cameras, irrigation system, motion, thermostats, etc., etc. So this is the end result of what to expect by the end of this video. Without the portion of how to set up action tiles from a software perspective, we're only going to talk about the hardware perspective. And then I'm going to do another video showing how to set it up from a software perspective. So without further ado, let's go back upstairs and do the hardware setup. Okay guys, so the next thing that you guys wanna do is you wanna make sure that you find yourself the spot of where you wanna put the tablet in. So for an example, as I showed you downstairs, I have the tablet and then if I go up the stairs the way that I want it, I wanna put it right here on eye level. So it's gonna be next to my theater room and into my living room and etc. etc. So I wanna make sure that the best location to choose is where you already have an outlet so you can basically splice into that and take electricity and I'm gonna show you how to do everything now quick disclaimer when you mess with this type of stuff make sure you either hire a certified electrician or that you know what you're doing so I chose this location as I said coming right up the stairs and the first thing that you want to make sure is you want to a find the location and use a stud finder to find if the stud is standing right here or right here. So in order to do so, 
Uh, I'm gonna get my trusty stat finder and do that real quick. Okay, so I got my stat finder. Uh, very, very simple. I'm just gonna put it against the wall and find where it's at. So, as you can see, it's right here. So that means that my stat is right here. So, in most cases, when they build houses, the uh, cable, the wire cable, is gonna be basically attached to the stud right here. So I'm gonna find the location when I put it, when I put the tablet, then I'm gonna make the, uh, the, the cut in the dry sheet uh, for the recessed box that I purchased, and then I'm gonna splice the cable. So before we do that, uh, I'm going to make sure that I pop the breaker. In order to do so, uh, I'm gonna use one of my uh, lovely kids lamp. I'm gonna connect it, and I'm gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna go down to my garage. I'm gonna pop the breaker and until I lose electricity here because I don't want to get electrocuted. And like I said, either use a certified electrician or know what you're doing. So I'm gonna hop real quick to, the, to my garage, pop the breaker and come back. Okay guys, so as you can see, I popped the breaker. Obviously the lamp doesn't work, so I know there's no electricity. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically open this up. I already took the screw out. So I'm gonna take this out completely and I'm gonna pause the video to, to save you guys a lot of time with me just, you know, using a screwdriver. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks from the inside and then we'll continue from there. Okay guys, so I took it out in order to expose the wires. So I'll know where is the uh, ground, the copper and uh, the load or traveler if you have a, a multi-switch or it goes somewhere. In my case scenario, there's only three cables, which is fairly simple. Then the cable that I purchased from uh, Home Depot is a 12 gauge, three prong, uh, let me get some zoom in light to see, three prongs with the right colors, so it'll be easier in my case scenario. Uh, again, either if you use an elect electrician or you know what you're doing, but make sure that you buy a minimum of 12 gauge cable uh, to make sure that it's up to code when you put it inside the wall. So I, if you can see in my box, there's no hole. So I'm gonna break that little piece over there so I can make a hole in that box and then throw the cable all the way up to where I want the tablet in and uh, Then the next piece before I continue with that is I'm gonna find the location where I wanted that tablet to be and then I'm gonna show you what to do next Okay guys, so I decided where I want to put the tablet which is essentially on eye level So if I go up for example, this is where I want to put it So what I've done is I took my box flipped it to make the initial uh, measurement and I use the Sharpie and of course the leveler to make sure that it's leveled and then I make, you know, the guided, guided line and then I'm gonna cut inside. One thing to uh, mention guys, I made, I made the outer line but remember that this is the recess box, this is the cover. So basically when you take the cover off, I'm gonna make another uh, dotted line to make sure that the measurements are correct and then uh, I'm going to make sure that the outer line and the inner line uh, basically are matched from each direction and they are leveled and then I'm gonna make a cut inside the wall and using this tool to cut into the dry sheet and once uh, I'll have the cut inside the wall I'll make I'll, I'll be able to put the recess inside the wall so let me make uh, that quick cut and I'm gonna show you how it looks like okay guys so I made the cut this is how it looks like now as you can see what I was talking earlier the inner line and then the outer line and then I made sure I made sure that this dimension matches, matches this dimension and it's leveled and everything is fine now as you can see here here's the stud and here's the electrical cable uh, when you cut you want to make sure that you don't hurt anything inside the wall you want to make sure that there's no piping or wiring or whatnot it depends on your house as you can see I have my ACs inside but uh, I already checked and the wrist is going perfectly inside. Here, let me show you guys. So if I grab that piece, essentially it goes perfectly inside. So that's, that's the, that is the outcome that you wanna have. Uh, so basically the next piece will be to wire this up. Okay guys, so I put the cable in and I pushed the recess box inside. As you can see, it's plushed, it's measured, everything is fine. And now don't forget to, you know, take your time when you do this, especially when you close these screws, who basi which basically uh, push it against the wall. You don't want to over tighten it. You just want to make sure that you feel it uh, enough to the point that your uh, 
that you can't close it anymore. But again, don't over tighten because you're basically going to break your drywall. So now the next step is to make sure. Next step is to take the cover. I'm going to put in the cover, make the final screws, and then I'm going to show you how it looks like. Okay guys, so this is the final product. I put the inner plate in and then I put the outer plate in and I screwed everything. It's sturdy, it, it does not move. And the next step it will be to either clean this up, if you use the Sharpie or a pencil or whatever. You don't have to because the tablet's gonna go over here covering everything up. So it's not necessary, but you know, uh, uh, if you like me and you're a perfectionist OCD that you wanna make sure that you wanna clean it up and uh, and uh, continue from there. So I'm gonna do that and then the next step will be I'm gonna go downstairs to my garage and I'm gonna pop the breaker and I'm gonna get, give it a quick test to see if we have electricity and that everything is fine. So I'm gonna pause the video and continue from there. Okay guys, so I popped the breaker back on and we're gonna use uh, my beautiful kids lamp to make sure that both uh, the original one and the new one works. So, yep, that works. Then I'm gonna plug it to the new one that works, so perfect. So electricity and everything is fine. I'm gonna check both of them. Okay, looks good. So now we'll continue with the next steps. Okay guys, so the next step is to fit in the tablet and make sure that it won't fall, especially from the fact that if you mount it in and you press the tablet, uh, the touch screen, then it won't fall on the back. So uh, this is a frame that I made, that Hobby Lobby made for me on a custom order. Uh, they took the measurement and everything. Now remember, uh, I'm gonna put, gonna have to put the USB in. So in my case scenario, the USB gonna be connected on the side, on the side, and there's enough slack uh, to put cable, but this will interfere with it. So again, in your case scenario, it, it most likely will be different depending on the frame that you got. But in my case scenario, I'm just gonna use a drill, and I'm gonna make an incision right here where the USB is connected, so I'll be able to have the cable inside mounted and not uh, visible, and the, the tablet will get power. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and I'm gonna show you the end result. Okay guys, so I made the hole to fit up the cable. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I've done. Basically, it's fairly simple. I just made a hole to fit in the cable. Uh, so when you turn the tablet on, Oh well, I figure it out. So as you can see, it looks straight, it looks good. So now the next part that I'm gonna uh, show you guys is that I got this from Home Depot. Uh, these are zip ties, uh, I guess, adapter to uh, uh, make sure that uh, you can mount it into cabinet and whatnot. The reason why I bought this is if you split up one of them, and let me show you an example. Hold on. Well, apparently it's a little hard. Let me pause one second. Okay. So the reason why I got these is I can put them, glue them right here, and then from both ends, and that way it will hold the tablet. So when you press the tablet, the touch screen, the tablet will not uh, fall into the wall or bas basically to make it sturdy. So I'm going to basically plan on putting one, two, three four, five, six, and one, and one on the sides, and it will firmly hold the tablet. When you press the touch screen, it won't go to the back. So let me do that real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I put them on. Let me focus a little bit. Now you see how it looks like? Uh, focus. Okay. So basically, I put them here, here, on the side, and here I had a little gap, so I just used a little of a uh, gripping bars uh, to uh, get a little thickness in there and then put them on. So now if I'll take it and if I'll press it, it's not moving. So that's good. That's when you connect it to the wall, when you attach it, sorry, when you attach it to the wall and you press the touch screen, the tablet won't move. Now I did leave a little bit of gap right here. So just in case I'll need to reboot the tablet and whatnot, I can still use a knife to do so. Uh, but that being said, on a second video where we do the configuration part, uh, I'll show you how to set up fully kiosk browser and uh, dake board and uh, 
uh, action tiles so the tablet will run 24 7 and will turn on by motion uh, there will be power 24 7 and even if the power goes out there is a internal battery for the tablet so in reality there's no need for you to ever take this off uh, one thing that i want to show you guys that i did uh, buy myself a couple of uh, headless nails and what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to put uh, one here 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 and here and that way when i push it against the wall in here it will go into the drywall and it will hang like a picture frame so let me do that real quick and i'll show you how it's done how it looks like okay guys so i got the nails and again these are headless nails let's see if i can show you yep or you can either just get headless nails or just cut the head off and the reason why you do that is if i'll take the tablet and then i'll connect it to the wall i'll just gonna basically use a leveler and i'm gonna push the tablet into the wall and it will hang like a picture frame so i'm going to connect the usb i'm going to tuck in all the cables and then i'm going to basically push it into the wall using the leveler and i'll show you the final product in a second hey guys so everything is done here's the final product how it looks like so you got action tiles with all the tiles in them and the frame and as you can see on the floor on the on the wall it's plush clean job you can't really see anything other than a nice picture frame with the tablet in it. Fully kills brother browser. And this is how it looks on the wall. No dings, no nothing. Looks gorgeous. So that's a wrap. That sums it up. And uh, if you guys want, I will make the second video on how to configure everything. And get everything set up with the action tiles. Uh, smart things. Take board. And the rest of the cool stuff. Thank you very much. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Have a good one. Bye.